Man, all the way this guitar sounds. Hey everyone, this is Wayne. And David. Another Ibanez. What do you mean another Ibanez? <laughs> oh. <laughs> so I'm starting to add up there. <laughs> One, two, three. Yep, yep, it's kind of adding up. So what's going on everybody? Today we are reviewing a Ibanez RGR 320EX. 2007? Yep, these were only, these were a limited production run, debuted at the 2007 NAM, and they varied from colors as gold, red, blue, green, and the road rash, which is this, the road rash of black and white, and the textured black was the one of the colors. Uh, in 2008, they changed to the RGR 420EX, which is something different. So these are all limited production runs. And all hand painted, so none of them look exactly the same. So that's really cool. Each guitar looks unique. I was painted on the back too. Yep. So it's not just the top and the headstock that's painted; it's the whole guitar, all the way around. Yep. That's pretty neat. All right. See, so it's got a Floyd Rose on there. Yep. The Edge Pro Three. Okay. So it is older than my Prestige, so it's slightly different. Uh, piece back here, but it's still the uh, thin, that thin, uh, or the thinner, uh, the thinner Floyd Rose. And pickups? Well, the original guitar came with EMG design. Yeah, not really that great of pickups. So they're all passive. Uh, this one's got a Seymour Duncan Invader in it. Uh, we did get this guitar used, and we don't have the original pickups in it. So the Seymour Duncan Invader and the and this is the stock EMG design uh, came with strap locks, so nice and handy. Yeah, uh, not got not Goto. Um, Grover tuners. So okay. I even started with a G. Everyone brain dead. <laughs> but yeah, Alder body, twenty four fret short tooth inlay, three piece wizard neck. You like those wizard necks? Yeah. Yeah. I like the my prestige is thinner, but this the still I love the thin neck. That's a bolt on? Yep, the four uh, four bolt. Okay. It's hard, like hard to see with the paint job. Yeah, they're black bolts mixed kinda Kind of a shame the neck isn't painted the same way as the body. Kinda would have liked to have seen that. Kinda unique too, but it's still really nice. And I mentioned that we did get this guitar used, and there is maybe one or two small dings on it. Just felt one back here. Not even showing through. The one I saw was right here. Other than that, it's beautiful condition. No cracks, no dents, no real bad blemishing anywhere. I guess the other problem was that I don't mind this. The sec uh, plate's been taken off. I don't care about that though. <laughs> you don't see that? Nope. Doesn't affect the playing? Nope. Uh, one thing that doesn't affect the playing either though are the uh, the uh, skull knobs. <laughs> Those will be replaced shortly. <laughs> How about we hear it? So yeah, this is uh, well, sort of clean. Now both of them, this is a little unique. <laughs> and the EMG design. sound to it. What the hell? <laughs> and then we'll move to the best part about that. Squeal 
real test. There it goes. <laughs> Uh, that was the Invader, and uh, now we've got the EMG design and the, and the Invader. sounding guitar. Plays real good, so. My, I've been playing Ibanez for a little while, and my first bout with them wasn't really, I guess, the greatest experience. Then I got my first RG, then I got the Prestige seven years later and fell in love with it, so it's kind of, a bit, kind of been a disease ever since. <laughs> Just love the way they play. Love the Edge Pro uh, bridge too. So thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate it. We are up to over 53,000 views. Yeah, thank you guys so much. We really, really appreciate that. Uh, thank you all. Thank you to all the new subscribers. We really, really appreciate that too. So uh, remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Keep on rocking. See you real soon.